Let me please be seated. Thank you very much. Let me most sincerely thank the Almighty God that made it possible for all of us to be here today. I thank our vice presidential candidate, the chairman of the party, and the leadership of the party, and members of this wonderful family. I sincerely apologize that I might have come here a little bit late. It was not deliberate. It was because of the circumstances that I found me.
But we will remove that driver. We will not allow him to continue. He will go down and put another driver to continue. Because what we have now and what is happening in Nigeria is that you don't know where you're going. The driver doesn't know where the vehicle is going. So every road leads us there. Nigeria 
have borrowed over 225 trillion naira. Let me use let me use that let me use that 200 trillion naira 200 trillion naira because some we have borrowed when money was 100, 150, 190, 200. So since it's about 600 now, I use an average of 400. That means, that what? That means that if you divide 200 trillion with 400, it will give you approximately 500 billion dollars. If you do, do that, if you use 500 billion dollars today, one-fifth of it, one-fifth, 20% of 500 billion dollars is 100 billion naira. 100 billion dollars. Tony Alumelu Foundation said, and you can go and verify, I'm not the part of Tony Alumelu Foundation. Tony Alumelu Foundation said that for every 5 million for every five million dollars they give to, for every five million they give to entrepreneur, after one year, that entrepreneur creates ten jobs. Ten. That means if we are taking just twenty percent of the money we borrowed over the past twenty years, hundred billion dollars, and shared it. So 20 million entrepreneurs, it will be $5,000 each. And if they have created half the job Tony Alimelu said, it will be five times 20 million, it will be 100 million, there won't be unemployment in Nigeria. And we are using only 20%, we are using only 20% of the money.
So what is the size of Israel? It is an agricultural land that can give us food. I said, and if you go all over the north, Nigeria is blessed. We have all the land we need. Look at Nigeria being affected by war in Ukraine because they don't have grain. When we have all the land that is uncultivated in the north, we should replace Ukraine with grain. We are waiting to share the money from oil. How much do we get from oil? Our total export, our total export as a country, like I said in 2021, is 30 billion dollars, including oil. We live in a country of 923,000 square kilometers. One million, one million square kilometers. You compare it with Vietnam, living on 331,000 square kilometers of land. And 100 million people, there are 200 million, their export is 312 billion dollars. We couldn't do 10 percent of their export. And what did they export? They exported clothing. Their clothing export is 32 billion dollars more than we exported including oil, clothing. They exported food footwear. So all I am that he wants to do is very simple. To say to people in Niger, I made the governor of Taraba on Sunday, and I repeated what I told him. I made the governor of I made the governor of uh, Niger on Saturday. And I say, Governor, you live on 76.3 thousand square kilometers of land. <laughs> governor, I say, Governor, that is two and a half times. If you minus water, that is two and a half times the country called Netherlands. That is what Niger State is. I said, Governor, you can't feed yourself. You can't feed the country. Netherlands last year, total food agricultural export is $120 billion. So if Niger State, if Niger State, with two and a half times their size, had not just done one percent, one percent of what they did, their export, it will be one point two billion dollars multiplied by six hundred, seven hundred and twenty billion dollars, five times the budget of Niger State. We cannot continue to live like this.